So I've prepared the five best momentum strategies with the best entries and how to find the best trades. So let's get going. And the first one is the flat top breakout. The flat top breakout is generally considered and looked uh, for in a trend continuation context. So the market is in an uptrend. Then very often uptrends obviously pause. Very rarely does the market just shoot to your target in one straight line. And there's always this back and forth between the buyers and the sellers. And when you can see that during an uptrend, the market is pausing, it is moving sideways. When you can then draw a horizontal resistance or sometimes a support level on top of price to define the price action, that is where people um, then look for flat top breakouts or actually this is considered a flat top breakout. You have one, two, three, four, five, six uh, touches as resistance level. And then what you're doing is you'd simply just wait for a breakout you can see how is the market trading into the resistance with higher lows so it also looks kind of like a triangle pattern maybe and what this tells you is that the market is coming back sooner and sooner and sooner uh, those higher lows are representing that or showing that and indicating that every time the market tries to dip the buyers are coming in earlier and earlier to push the price up and then on a breakout you can see we have a breakout we have a pullback and then the trend is continued here a very similar um, context you can see the market uh, moved higher then there was a temporary pause you have one resistance level two and three this is also by the way a setup that we're going to talk about later on which is one of my favorite setups um, it's a high probability breakout so stay tuned until the end this is then uh, something that we will talk about later but here you can see we have one two three touch points we have higher lows indicating that the market is already pushing up Although the price is not able to break into new highs, you can see that the market is coming up sooner and sooner and sooner and stronger and stronger. And then on a breakout, you have the trend continuation. The setup number two, flag breakouts and flags are very common. I would always recommend to use a moving average in combination uh, with flags because they just or moving averages help you find better flag trading opportunities. And what you want to make sure is that the price is trending on one side of the moving average so in this case, the price is below the moving average. So we are in a downtrend. And then during a downtrend, you wait for consolidations, correction waves. And when the market hits the, high, uh, the moving average, you look for a flag pattern. You can see flag patterns are defined by those trend lines. This trend line has one, two, three touch points. And you can see here to the upside, we also have a resistance trend line. So a very nicely well-defined flag pattern. And then on the breakout, that's where the trend continues. And then the same happens later on. You can see we have another consolidation hitting the 50 period moving average. And then on the breakout, the trend is continued. So if you are looking for trend continuation um, place and continuation trading opportunities, look for um, consolidations flags into the moving average. By the way, this is the 50 period. And then wait for the confirmed breakout. Here, another example, the market is in a downtrend, broke below the uh, moving average entered the downtrending stage, moved lower. Not every consolidation, not every correction wave is going to hit the moving average. You can see here the market was trading above the moving average a long time and never hit the moving average. So that's OK. Um, it's, it happens all the time. But you can see if the price or when the price hits the moving average and when you can draw a nicely defined flag pattern, wait for the breakout. And that's where you usually find the smoothest trading opportunities. You can see as soon as the market exits the flag, that's usually where you have the big moves. Next is the false breakout. False breakouts are also trend continuation plays. So the market is in an uptrend. Then the uptrend temporary pauses. You can see here the market made a triple top uh, and then it tried to break out to the downside. The, bre uh, the downside breakout was immediately rejected. The market fell back into the range, uh, back above the previous support level. And that's usually where traders initiate their uh, long entries. So as soon as the market is back in the range and as soon as the, uh, the trend for uh, the false breaker is confirmed, that's usually where people look for trend continuations and you can see. And as soon as the false breakout is then rejected or actually happening, then you can see you have smooth trading again. Here, once again, you can see the market is coming from a downtrend. The downtrend is over. The price broke above the moving average, has its first consolidation phase retests the moving average with a false breakout 
and then you can see this is also a huge huge engulfing candle even a greater signal and after the false breakout happened you can see that's really where the trend accelerated so again what we've seen so far false breakouts flags and um, the flat top triangle or flat top breakouts during ranging markets that's where you really want to stay away from the market and only when you have a breakout out of those patterns that's where you want to get involved so breakout buildups this is one of my favorite patterns it happens all the time and a, a breakout buildup can happen in combination with a flag it can happen with a combination of a flat top breakout and what it shows you is that before a breakout happens the market is often clinging or sticking already to the level so here you can see we have a multi a four time three time to resistance level and before the breakout the market is already really sticking to the level so whereas previously the market was able to reach the lower end of the range here the market was not able to pull away at all and this build up um, can show you a lot and it shows you that the bulls are already here trying to position themselves the bulls are getting stronger and stronger and the sellers are completely leaving the arena and you can see on the breakout that's usually where the price explodes because the market and the accumulation has been going on here for a long long time already there's been a lot of um, position observation and position building by the bulls and then once there are no more sellers left to take the opposite side of the trade that's usually where you have those huge huge explosions here as well market is coming from a downtrend into here then a cons uh, transition phase previous support turns into resistance and before the breakout you can see the market is sticking to the level previously the market when it hit the level was able to sell off quite a bit but this time the market is really sticking to the level it's not able to pull away at all and this is a very very important factor because it shows you that the bulls are getting stronger and every time the, the sellers try to sell the market the bulls step in sooner and sooner and don't allow the price to move away at all and you can see the breakout happens with a huge engulfing candle and then the market explodes to the upside. Another breakout buildup, you can see here we are in a range market, we have resistance and resistance and resistance. And again, every time before that, every two, uh, two times before that, the market hit the resistance, it sold off. Hit the resistance, sold off. And here it hit the resistance, didn't sell off at all. There's just one bearish candle which was immediately reversed. Great buildup uh, here. And then on the breakout, you can see the trend unfolded. So breakout buildups can happen uh, around many other patterns. It's often considered an add-on pattern because it can happen around a wedge. It can happen around a, tri a triple top, a double top, uh, flat top breakouts, flags. So look for scenarios where the market is already sticking to the breakout level before that. We cannot predict the breakout and not always will obviously a breakout happen. But if you see that when you have a breakout and before that there was a breakout buildup, that's where you have great trading opportunities. The last one, Bollinger Band breakout. So here I use the Bollinger Band width indicator, which you will usually find across all trading platforms. And what you want to look for is a very, very low Bollinger Band width rate, uh, reading. And then you can often also draw trend lines or horizontal support and resistance levels on your Bollinger Band width indicator and once you have a, a breakout that's usually where you have great trends. What does it mean? The Bollinger Band are contracting, they're getting smaller and smaller because the price action you can see it's just very very narrow, there's no trending and it's very um, close and very narrow and then very often you have those explosive moves. Here as well you can see very tight price action which then leads the Bollinger Bands to completely um, contract and you really want to make sure that the Bollinger Band are for a long period in a very very small and very narrow window. So the Bollinger Band width has to be very narrow, it has to be very uh, low and it has to go on for a long period of time. And then you look for a breakout. You can see here if we draw a resistance level we even have a breakout buildup here happening again or you could even call it maybe a, a flat top breakout here. So Bollinger Band width can help you with more confidence or more confluence around your setups um, by adding an indicator. So that's it. Five momentum strategies. Let me know which one of those you will find the most interesting. Which one are you maybe already trading? And let me know in the comments. I always look forward to hearing from you.